A movie premiere, as the name indicates, is the first time a movie is screened. More of a Nollywood and Hollywood culture, it is fast making its way into the Cameroonian film industry. But do you know what takes place before, during and after a movie premiere? Today, it's all about a man for the weekend. This is Discovery. I am Jimla Neneshadzeka. Your mom calls you to come visit her for the weekend. That should not be a problem. Not unless she's expecting me with a man. My man. The Cameroon movie industry has been around for several decades now, and the output has been amazing. Yet, a lot of people have been disappointed to discover that films have been shot and distributed or disappeared with very little notice and without a premiere. This very vital episode that typically promotes movies as well as add burrs, glam and glitz into the movie industry. However, in recent times, the culture of movie premiering has been astounding because a lot of movie producers have made it a duty to keep the trend. One of whom is Cindy Emade, actress, model and CEO of Blue Rain Entertainment, one of the leading movie production houses in Cameroon. Following the shooting of a movie titled A Man for the Weekend, in which she starred along with some of the industry's big names like Solange Ojong, Valerie Chifo, plus Nigerian movie star and Mr. Nigeria 2014, Alex Ekubo, it was obvious that the premiering was going to be an exceptional event. Christelle always gets the best. Stop, you're hurting, Mom. You stop it, Christelle. You win. It was not only about screening the film for the first time in the two largest cities in Cameroon before their release to the public, but it was also about setting standards, respecting tradition in film production and bringing show into the business. Isn't that what show business is all about? This has always been the tradition of movie premieres even with the first major Hollywood premiere that occurred in 1922 in Hollywood's Egyptian theater. It was during the grand opening of the Egyptian-themed theater and showed the premiere of the silent film Robin Hood. The event was large and flashy, a great success. This premiere was followed by many others, more elaborate and festive than ever. Being a massive cinema fan, I have attended a couple of premieres in the past, but this particular one rekindled my discovery senses. I wondered how the crew was going to promote an event that had much to do with ticket sales and what it will take to create the necessary hype around this luxurious movie experience and glittering event which provides a rare chance to see numerous stars in person at a single event. To get the expected results, Cindy Amade hires the services of one of the finest event planners in the country, Mr. Chichi Ladislav, known for his sense of perfection and professionalism. He says such great events always need diligent planning and thus the need for an event planner and manager. A movie premiere is that exact exciting event which brings a lot, all the actors brings together a lot of celebrities to come and experience, you know, a movie for the first time. And it is mostly a red carpet event. It's one of the most glamorous events that you know, happen in the entertainment industry. Having uh, uh, an event of this dimension, there is need for an event manager. And so I was brought in as an event manager to put 
all of that together and to make the movie premiere for a month for the weekend as glorious, as glamorous as a red carpet event is supposed to be. It is not a regular event, it is not a birthday party, it is not uh, one Jangi group come together. It is an event of class and style and so a professional needed to step in to give it that grandeur which the movie premiere deserved. That is the answer to your question. I don't even know his The name. premiere of the movie A Man for the Weekend in Douala and Yaoundé were anticipated events for several reasons. The cast was full of famous performers. A whole lot of celebrities in and out of Cameroon were to attend, but also because of the work that was put in by the entire crew. A lot of moves that needed time and effort. Um, it took me six months for me to pull this event together. A lot was being seen when we went, uh, we went out for a three months intense and tight media promotion but there was the first three months that had to do with a lot of a lot of planning a lot of programming you know we had international guests there were bookings flight reservations that had to be done relative to their schedule a lot of them have their programs for the year well spelled out and so if you were not in the schedule of their programs it's going to be a lot of back and forth with their managers and so sometimes we even had to pay three three different tickets for for, for Wizboy because we were moving from one connecting flight to another and sometimes it is cancelled and we will have to pay extra for us to make sure that we have him here on the day we wanted him to, to come and when they come for them to be received as celebrities giving them the treatment which they deserve and of course for them to leave and having a good impression about the events and things that happen in our countries. We had also to get our venues way long before pay for our venues, get whatever equipment that were, were needed. And so I had six months to plan this event and three intense months for everybody to see what was being shown to them through mainstream media and the social media. Location, 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 they say, is key to the success and turn out to every event. It is also determinant of how classy and chic the event will be. The two best locations in Cameroon were selected for both events. Canal Olympia, the newest and only functional cinema hall in Douala, and the prestigious Hilton Hotel in Yaoundé. Premier parties and showing events are typically publicized allowing viewers worldwide to see just how popular the movie is. However, filling seats of paid events needs serious strategizing. Media promotion is vital, reason why the crew knocked at the doors of several private radio and TV stations and even got access to the midday television primetime news of the national media CRTV. Imade, that is uh, Cynthia Imade. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. And just so you know, I am looking for my man for the weekend, so it just <laughs> might be you who knows. <laughs> the social media is also an effective publicity strategy, and the team was good at their game. And if frequent posts and countdown were triggers, the bullets got many. A lot of people and celebrities all over the world took to the social media announcing their presence, adding much attention to the already well-publicized event. This is your boy Loco from Cameroon. I'm doing this video to ask all of you all to be there for the premiere of this amazing movie, A Man for the Weekend. This is Sebastian Siani, and I come by the way of this video to invite you to look at the premiere. The film A Man for the Weekend. My name is AY. I'm a stand up comedian and an actor from Nigeria. This is me inviting you for the big movie premiere A Man for the Weekend. Hello, everybody. This is New America. This is A Man for the Weekend affair. If you know you're going to be lonely this weekend, just call me because I want to be your man for the weekend. Who attends an event is telling of its grandeur and success. Pulling a crowd is good, but getting as many celebs and high-profile personalities to attend is great. 
The team went on personal contacts, reaching out to major government and private personalities. But they hit the ultimate target when they succeeded to get the Ministry of Arts and Culture to patronize and equally get the minister in person, Professor Narcis Mwele Kombi, to attend the event. A movie premiere is usually an exclusive event, limited to those in the industry and invited guests only. But in Cameroon, it is also open access to those who can afford the tickets. This much anticipated event usually draws people in their hundreds because they are dying to see the movie for the first time, others who want to get close and personal with the stars of the movie and a host of other celebs, while a huge majority just want to come show off their best outfit on the red carpet. Both premieres began with cocktail parties, allowing guests to mingle and relax before the start of the film. And because movie premieres are effective tools of promotion, the guests are treated to some light refreshment offered by sponsors as well as visit some exhibition stands. Talking about business in the show. A movie premiere is a show that comes with a lot of glitz and glamour. The red carpet is an indispensable phase. It is that one place where photographers get to shoot photos and red carpet hosts interview the crew and the guests. It is also the moment when celebs and fashionistas show off their best dresses and beauty looks. To be honest, I would say the producer did a fabulous job. Uh, she, she got on, on board uh, the most amazing and talented uh, team that I have ever worked with. Uh, I think those are the people really, really behind, behind the success of the movie. Um, I had an amazing director of photography, amazing acting coach, uh, an amazing story by uh, my very good friend Carlos Safinda, and we had a producer who was very keen to detail and really wanted us to work with uh, at ease, if I should say. So it's a, it's a, it's a teamwork. I want to say that 237, like you say, we've got a lot of great stuff here in this country, and it's about time we had young women professionals in the movie industry. Today, there is an increasing dependence on fashion stylists and makeup artists, and people often choose expensive or one-of-a-kind or couture gown to stand out. A few weeks into the event, celebs are approached by different designers to wear their outfit, because it is also a product placement area of great importance to fashion designers. Having a dress featured on the red carpet or celebrity to wear and talk about your dress, particularly one that attracts media or public attention, is simply great and a fair PR. Cindy Emade is courted by two huge names in the fashion industry, Ebanga Kwanyo of EB Creations and award-winning designer Kibon and Fee, known for having dressed the American movie star Lupita. Cindy Emade gets to do as many wardrobe changes, tries the different custom-made outfits proposed by her designers, and I bet you making a choice is not that easy. She must be careful because the red carpet fashion usually receives intense media scrutiny and bloggers are quick to go on their pages for critique on who was best or worst dressed. She makes her choice and the outfits for both events in Douala and Yaoundé are drop-dead gorgeous. Some designers follow their clients to the red carpet to make sure all is perfect till the last minute. The stylist's role is to try to ensure that the client only receives positive publicity for her appearance and is not featured on worst dressed lists.
This is the case of EB Creations. She's a boss, so she usually goes for the best. So I decided to be fashion forward, pick up the trend for autumn, winter 2017 and spring, summer 2018, which is about feathers, fur. So I went with the ostrich feathers to make her the princess that she is. What is the reality like designing for people who are so meticulous about everything? I said this dress, it took over a month. Cindy automatically became my best friend. She would call me every day, she like, Ibi, how far? What's happening? But it's a nice challenge. Ladies like this push me way beyond my limit and I get to discover myself more. So I'm grateful for such people. No matter how blasé you're trying to be about the whole thing, you still get giddy when you set foot on the red carpet. You suddenly have three times more swagger than usual and you take countless selfies. It is not surprising to catch ladies doing last minute makeup and red carpet host freshing up just before they hit the red carpet. The red carpet interview forms a key part of the red carpet event and often starts with a loaded question, who are you wearing, before moving to more juicy conversations. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing AB Creations. Right. And by the way, you look great too, Myra, as always. <laughs> So um, my dress is by EB Creations and my hair is by Jenny and my makeup RMB. Made it! Oh, Kafu Slate. Oh my god, turn around babe. Now you deserve every attention of every camera right here. New video coming out this month, before the end of this month. And um, yeah, we hope to wrap up the year in, in a grand style. but. 2018 is going to be awesome. It's you know, watch out, yeah. The arrival of the Minister of Culture, Professor Narcisse Mwele Kombi, and his team to the event site in Douala takes the event to a whole new dimension. It was the first time the minister is attending a premiere, plus an English movie for that matter. A man for the weekend just made history. Watching a movie for the first time comes with a lot of expectations. Though it is already known who featured in the film, yet everyone is anxious to see how each actor or actress played their role and if they nailed it. Not usually a place for speeches, but the presence of the minister demanded some few words that could rekindle and boost the hopes and aspirations of the stakeholders in this very challenging industry. It is possible to evoke désormais the printemps du cinéma Cameroun. With some motivation, the guest relaxed, lights out. It was time to watch the amazing story of Candice Ayuk, a young business executive driven by her career with little time for pleasure. Because I told her I had one. What? Shh! I think I should stop and leave you with the urge to buy this film once out to the general public. Is it a man you want or a puppy? At the end of every viewing, one vital tradition remains the introduction of the cast and crew. The director or producer takes the stage to introduce each member of the cast and crew of the movie. At times, with a word or two about their role in the movie or the success of the event. But this is a very tricky exercise and often than not, names of some important persons are omitted or forgotten. Not much to worry about. It takes a few fun performances to waive the embarrassment. A movie premiere is not only about the screening of a movie. The organizers of a movie premiere work hard to make sure the paying audience is thoroughly entertained. 
Spicing the show with music performances is a plus. In Douala, as well as Yaoundé, the movie premiere featured renowned artists like Magasco, Blanche Bailey, Senior Pastor, and the icing on the cake is the performance of Nigerian superstar Wiz Boy. The applause in the hall at the end of the show was indicative of a positive experience, even though it wasn't a facile venture. Having to produce a movie of this magnitude in Cameroon, of course, we all know how it is in the industry. I mean, we are at that point where we are trying to raise the bars in the movie industry. And of course, the hardest thing is raising finance. I mean, we all have watched the movie. This is a high budget movie. And of course, that. That was like my greatest challenge on this whole project, putting everything together, raising the budget. But I mean, as God has a way of doing things, we definitely overcome. And here we are today watching the amazing piece and loving the whole atmosphere. So I would say it's all about us using that passion that we have and the love for what we do and being able to push through no matter what. A month for the weekend is um, very good, very interesting and very passionate story. The actors are very talented and particularly uh, Cindy Emade in the role of uh, Candice uh, Ayuk. Je dois dire que j'ai été uh, très surpris agréablement. J'ai été très content de voir ce film. C'est un film de très grand public. C'est peut-être le genre de film qu'il faut pour l'ouverture euh, des éclats noirs. C'est un film où on ne euh, se casse pas la tête. C'est pas un film, euh, c'est un film de divertissement, un film populaire, un film très grand public. Et je crois qu'il faut des films comme cela aussi. Everything was on point and I'll give it 100 on 100. That notwithstanding, the crew won their bet, one of increasing the fan base and creating the buzz, because few premieres have had a turnout of this magnitude. As the cast and crew, with a couple of friends, head out for the after party, a must after a premiere, I take memorable pictures on the red carpet. I had a great time and hope you did as well while waiting for the next glamorous event. <laughs> 